Hello my loves, this is Misty and I welcome you to my digital sacred space. I hope you are happy, healthy and healing wherever you are watching from. Today we are looking at love letters from your spirit guides because your spirit guides love you as well and um, I wanted to make this reading special for you so I have created and made these three envelope boxes. So if you've seen a similar theme in my previous readings, but I did a lot of future spouse readings for this um, for the same theme. But today I thought, you know, we do enjoy future spouse readings, but I also wanted you to know that your spirit team is always with you. And I hope this reading serves as a confirmation and a clarification for that. So we have three piles here. This will be the first pile with this beautiful turquoise box this is what it looks like from the back I had to stick tape here because this paper isn't exactly paper it's it's but it's not fabric either you know what I mean but I'm excited to open this one this is pile number one or box number one then we have number two looks like this it's a gorgeous solid blue that's what it looks like from the back i feel like a lot of new people might drawn might be drawn to two i'm just sensing that this is Three, box number three or pile number three. Again, it has silver foiling on blue colored paper. So this is three. And yeah, you can make your selection and skip to your reading. It feels so good to be back after such a long time. I was extremely sick the past days because I had a lot of personal readings booked in the past 20 days, especially last month. And I just overdid myself and I pushed myself a bit too hard. And uh, one day I finished readings that were about four or five hours. And I just completely lost my voice. Like literally my voice just would not come out. And my throat was paining so bad. And I was running a fever. I couldn't eat. I couldn't speak. I couldn't drink anything because it hurt so bad. But I feel so much better now. And I'm so, so grateful for all of you that have booked personal readings with me. And have trusted me to be your reader. It's your you hold a very special place in my heart and being the perfectionist that I am I just you know pushed myself a little too hard this time and uh, I felt sick because I overworked myself anyway lesson learned um, I just wanted to tell you and share with you that that's what happened because not because I owe anybody and any explanation but I know that a lot of you my soul family are waiting for my readings and i see that a lot of you might get worried you know am i doing okay like what's happening with me and that is why i just didn't want you to worry i'm feeling much better now and my throat is also much better so i will be back on schedule i do have a lot of ideas for um, future readings lined up for the next week and the week after that so hopefully you're excited because i'm definitely excited to finally get back to reading once again and um, yeah today's reading is a very special one because we are looking at love letter from your spirit guides now i just want to clarify that this this of, of course like this is not like a romantic kind of reading because this is your spirit team this is literally spirit right so I know that love can 
mean romance but it doesn't have to mean that because we have lots of different types of connections and you are if you are here on my channel or if you watch tarot readings you are spiritual and you are part of god or part of the universe itself and my intention for this reading is to connect you back to that pre-birth intention of yours to connect you back to your spirit guides your ancestors i do feel very strong energies from these piles but i'm excited to see what comes up so i would like to invite pile number one two and three spirit guides with divine love and gratitude in my heart my intention for this reading is that this reading serves as a reminder that you are always there for pile number one, two, and three. That you are always watching over pile number one, two, and three. That they are not alone. That they don't need to worry or be anxious or fear the future. In a learning hologram, there are no mistakes because you're still learning. There is no perfection state to achieve. So it's okay to make mistakes. This is a message for someone that's watching this prayer right now. It's okay to make mistakes. Do not worry to make mistakes. The greatest failure is not a mistake. The greatest failure is never taking the step, never starting. So just do it. I'm seeing that Nike... Um, what is that punchline? The Nike logo with the tick mark. Just do it. Just do it. There is some encouragement coming for you. And your spirit guides are saying that you have an idea. Somebody, some who, someone who's watching has some kind of idea or something. Something that they want to do, but they are scared of the outcome. They are scared, you know, what if it doesn't work out? And you're being asked to do it. You're being asked to just go for it. You will be supported. You are immensely supported. You are immensely loved by spirit and your guides. I call upon angel beings, light beings, light worker energies, any ancestors that have good intentions, all energies and non-physical beings that have good intentions and want the best for my pile number one two and three to come through and help me channel you as i read for one two and three i ask for this reading to be protected from any malicious intentions any harmful energies, any negative energy that is being thrown by number one, two or three's way, please protect them and this space from any energies like that so I can give a clear, concise and accurate reading to one, two and three. I offer this prayer as a token of my love and my gratitude to you Dear spirit guides, dear angel beings, dear light beings that are present here throughout this reading, that are watching over pile number one, two, and three, I offer my respect and I bow down in your magnificence. I send you all of my love. I send pile number one, two, and three my love. I call upon my spirit guides to guide me throughout this reading so that I can channel accurately. If I fumble or if I am confused, I ask for clear energies and information to be channeled through me. I love you, my dear spirit guides. Pile number one, two and three spirit guides, angels, light beings ancestors
Once again, I would like to thank those of you that have booked private readings with me. For those of you that have purchased limited edition readings time and time again, all of them. I thank you so much and I bow down my head to the love in your heart that always comes my way. I'm so fortunate to have you and to call you a part of my soul family, to call you my tribe. And I am well now, so I will be taking more personal readings now. And I want to thank Spirit for guiding you to come my way, to stumble on this channel, to stumble on this reading. Because if you are here, it's not a coincidence. Your Spirit Guides chose this reading for you. Your Spirit Guides chose me as the reader for you. And I want to thank all of you for being here with me on this journey. Finally, I ask for a little more protection in this reading. And I hope that this reading makes pile number one, two, and three happy, gives them clarity or guidance or messages, whatever it is that they need. And with that said, my dear loves, I will see you at your pile. I am so astounded by your ethereal beauty. And I'm not talking about your external beauty, of course. Um, I can feel your heart. It's like I can feel someone's heart here. I think it's, it's, it's the collective. Your heart is very sincere and pure. I'm fortunate to have stumbled upon a soul like you. Okay, my dear loves, now I will see you at your bio. Bye. My dear loves, if you chose pile number one, this is what your envelope box looks like. You chose this beautiful turquoise color that is almost green but not quite. Um, I feel like your spirit guides are similar to you. I feel like you guys are sensitive, like you could be watery, but there is, but I feel like you conceal it well. And it's not a bad thing, of course, like we live in a world where emotions are demonized and emotions are taken advantage of. So I completely understand that. But your spirit guides have a similar energy to you. They are also, um, I wanted to say people, they are also people that are sensitive and emotional and have a high emotional capacity they have a high um like a like a huge jug that can contain a lot of water so i feel like they have a high capacity to hold that water energy water energy is something that is understood clearly by you and your spirit guides you could be artists or you could be creative something to do with water here you could be my pisces you don't have to be but um there is some creativity running through your veins i don't know if you are aware of it some of you have already tapped into it some of you have not and uh, your spirit guides want to encourage you to take up a creative pursuit anything that you like it doesn't have to be painting or something related to water it can be music it can be singing it can be anything that you want so let's unbox it and see so i'm taking off the seal now first and then So you had a lot of um, these messages and we are going to look at all of this one by one. So I'll place this box here. Yeah, you did get the moth. Now, I have a lot of um, piles that 
get this moth this moth always comes out now whenever i am preparing these boxes and uh, i have like i make all of these boxes i keep them ready and then i open them right and then i cut all of these um stickers like prints i print all of these images out these quotes out and i cut them myself and i keep those ready and then i will uh, intuitively pick up based on what your spirit guides tell me and i will place them in each box and this moth comes out and moth or the butterfly could be a spirit guide for you maybe you have seen moths lately i know i saw one a huge one recently um it was yellow in color of course it was beautiful i didn't disturb it i just saw it because it was huge it was literally this big you guys this big um maybe you are also seeing because this comes out for a lot of readings so maybe moth is a spirit guide i'm also feeling that you guys are people that are always transforming because i'm being taken to the whole process of a metamorphosis of a butterfly where the butterfly uh, where the caterpillar transforms into a butterfly but i feel like with you it's quite frequent and uh, the first thing your spirit guides want to say to you as a form of love is that they love you of course and they are very proud of you for it's like every time you go through a certain tower moment death moment every time you're metamorphosizing you come out more beautiful you come out more radiant you come out more graceful you come out with more love and more compassion in your heart and that pile number one is not easy to do at all so your spirit guides are really really proud of you i think that's that's like that's the biggest energy that i'm feeling here there's there's a lot of pride like they're really proud of you like if your spirit guides was a real person in the 3d like they would be the kind of friend that would be like did you check out what pile number just did like did you check out their music like they will hype you up you know like they will not let anybody um talk garbage about you they 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 will they're always hyping you up they'll be like yo you gotta come to this party that pile number one is throwing and you know pile number one did this like they're so happy they're like that sibling who's always encouraging you to do better and they are proud of you when you do when you achieve something they are really happy with your success genuinely and sincerely i'm also feeling that apart from this there is a guide who has almost like a like a maternal energy towards you this could be for some of you this is a great grandmother or a grandmother that passed away that's watching over you she is present here um there is an ancestor as well the feminine energy seems to be uh prevalent throughout this i'm feeling that throughout this reading so you don't have to be a feminine watching this but i'm just feeling that even if you are a man watching this um there is a feminine energy like um your great grandmother or your great great grandmother that's watching over you in this 3d life maybe uh, for some of you you had some kind of contact with her before you guys were born and um she she promised that the feminine energy promised that she would watch over you in this 3d life as you move through the dense physical space which is the human incarnation so i'm seeing that let's unbox more yeah you are also had saturn come out for you now saturn is one of the planet of restrictions it's a planet of lessons as they call it it's like a strict teacher but once you learn the lesson of the saturn you know it gives you resilience it gives you determination and in a natal chart whatever your saturn sign is let's say for example you have saturn in aries then your identity is going to feel restricted by the people around you or you know you're going to feel inhibited in expressing yourself and who you are how you show up in the world um your confidence your outer beauty so that's one of the lessons that you need to learn is how to be yourself how to be authentic how to be honest how to go after what you want like this life will be all about you because you have saturn in aries and i feel like there is some kind of a hard lesson that you had to learn in the past or you are learning still some of you and your spirit guides are just coming here and encouraging you and saying that you know we we look at you we see you we we you're doing well you're doing fine you're doing great and we're here we're here for you 
so i'm being called to take pick these up we have yeah i was wondering why chaos came out for you and at first it didn't make sense but you know i don't think too much when i'm putting all of these uh cutouts in the boxes um you know you do what your intuition tells you you do what spirit guides tell you but i see why chaos has come out it's like you are one of your for some of you one of your um missions in this life is to learn how to create order out of chaos that's one of the missions for some of you so no wonder saturn comes out because maybe you feel very overwhelmed by all of this dense energy then if that is the case then you're here learning that we also have never stopped dreaming and we have a good laugh is sunshine in the house this is a call from your spirit guides to laugh more and to really enjoy your life um they're saying that you only live once you're only going to be here as yourself once uh maybe you will have another incarnation but then that's like a different person right the you that exists right now you are the only one here as yourself so they're saying never stop dreaming first of all because some of your wishes are going to come true uh there is a wish that you have like a deep wish that you have it's going to come true so be happy look on the positive side um have more positive thoughts the positive thoughts are like food for soul right just like you need actual food to eat your body needs that uh positive thoughts and positive intentions smiling being happy good feelings good thoughts things that feel good they feed your soul and they feed your heart and it's important to feed your heart so do not forget to starve so do not forget to feed your heart do not starve your heart is something that your spirit guides are saying then we have shed and release i'm going to place that here yeah you are always doing this i i did mention that right you are always transforming you are always becoming a newer better version of yourself you are always shedding and releasing the next one we have is speak it into existence speak your dreams into existence pile number 1 speak your wishes and desires into existence pile number 1 because it's going to come true we have i am loved and i am enough this is a huge huge love message from your spirit guides you are so loved and you are enough the way you are right now right now you're doing enough i see you releasing and shedding and releasing and shedding and in this cycle over and over again and it's almost like you can get this like addicted to that inner work right and you don't feel like you you have to you feel like you have to keep fixing yourself you have to keep doing that inner work otherwise something is going to go wrong and spirit is like you can take a break like catch a break by number 1 you don't need to be working so hard on yourself like you're perfect enough you the way you are right now you've learned enough lessons you know uh so relax sit back um there's always going to be lessons you know there's always going to be um things that happen in the future that will force you to learn something but you don't have to wait for that you don't have to live your life life is not supposed to be full of lessons it is supposed to be full of laughter and joy so do not forget that that is supposed to be a part of your life not just lessons so please remember that by number 1 oh my god we have you are my sunshine and you have the same thing here again yes i see you shining a lot before maybe this death or tower moment happened to you i see you shining and then suddenly it's like you took all of that light back into yourself like i'm literally seeing the light recede and the darkness progress and it's almost like you're being enveloped by it but i see that your there is a small flicker there's a small flame in your heart that is still shining it is still lit and so you're not in complete darkness like you are your own torchlight you are your own guiding light and that's why i feel like your spirit guides are saying you are my sunshine because usually it's the spirit guide that 
guides you that's why they are called spirit guides right but i feel like you are enough and you have learned so much that you can trust yourself to be your own guiding light you do not need external validation you do not need um the approval of your spirit guides is what they, is what they're saying they're asking you to trust yourself and to trust your own guidance and to trust your own heart we oh my god oh my god look at this look at what we have here an actual literal message now the reason why i'm getting shocked is because i didn't i don't know i don't know what comes in these boxes because i i'm usually not seeing or reading or any of these quotes i just when i feel when i fill these boxes up i don't read anything i will just intuitively pick up like show me um the quotes and messages or whatever for pile number 3 for this box and then spirit guides will just take my hand and lead me to all of the prints cutouts and look you actually have always look on the bright side let me place that here beside sunshine wow pile number 1 You have the starry night by Van Gogh. Again, the moon is shining here. Something about shining. It's like you forgot to shine. What is it? We have you got this. Then we have You always have a choice. then we have we're only given a little sparkle of madness oh my gosh what did i say by number 1 we're only given a little spark of madness little spark of madness yeah you have something in you by number 1 maybe you are uranus dominated uranus uh aquarian energy because uranian people are so innovative like uh, Ur- uh uranus also rules technology by the way maybe you're an aquarius watching this like you, they they they're, they are a lot of the times they are very lonely or they are treated as an outcast because people won't accept somebody who's so different but here i'm being told that your spirit guides think that your uniqueness what makes you weird or what you know what people don't like in the 3d is what makes you beautiful pile number 1 it's what makes you different pile number 1 and it is not a bad thing it is a spark in you it is the thing in you that is amazing your weirdness your quirkiness your uniqueness that's what's that's what's beautiful about you pile number 1 so please don't let the world convince you otherwise and with the you got this i feel like and you always have a choice with you got this i feel like this is a message from spirit and your guides that it's pretty much straightforward because i feel like you want like there is an innovative idea inside you that has been birthed but has not manifested in the physical yet because you've not taken action and if that is the case please do if you watch my prayer of gratitude and there there was a similar message there as well for those that were watching prayer of gratitude and if you are here again and you you're listening to this again this is a huge confirmation okay i mean it's happened twice so you know it can't get any more clear concise and accurate than that you definitely got this pile number 1 and whatever whatever idea wish you have it's coming true it's coming true for sure so next we have perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created wow beautiful i love that then we have you are the be- oh my god oh my god whatever i say is just coming out for you in your reading you are the best pile number 1 that's what your spirit guides think your spirit guides think you're the best sometimes the heart sees what is invisible to the eye yeah this is your heart you see what's invisible to people like you have a unique way of looking at the world you're very unique pile number 1 this is you i feel like this is you the world is but a canvas to the imagination you are limitless pile number 1 you have limitless potential i feel like you don't even know what's going on with yourself because you don't know what you're capable of like you might underestimate what you're capable of you are capable of so much more you are capable of shifting entire worlds entire realities like your 
you are as big as a black hole as big now i know like black hole doesn't sound good but black holes are like one of the biggest cosmic creations i think because again they have a gravity that is absolutely inescapable and not even light can escape a black hole right and uh, they're massive they're massive so i feel like you your presence is like that in a way like you didn't come here to play small pile number one that's for sure you didn't come here to play small we have a smile warms the heart and the soul again with the smile pile number th- pile number one you got to smile more you got to start enjoying your life <laughs> we have a taylor swift lyric hell was the journey hell was the journey but it brought me heaven yes exactly exactly then we have lots more let's go through them what if i told you i am a mastermind you are you are pile number 1 <laughs> you are i am not strange i am unique that's right you are not strange pile number 1 you are unique and you are here to write your own story you are here to write your own story you are not here to be a character in someone else's life we have start somewhere start somewhere just do it by number 1 whatever it is that you're thinking just do it and we have fearless and we have harmony i feel like these two are the energies of your guides your guides are very fearless for sure and then you have harmony So this was it pile number 1 these are all of the messages love letter guidance and everything for you my dear pile number 1 i hope you enjoyed you can take a screenshot of this although i will be giving away pictures of the spread for free so if you want to keep this as a wallpaper you know just as a reminder just that this is a love letter from spirit and your spirit guides um or you can use it as a wallpaper to remember um that you're doing enough that you are loved that you always have a choice that you got this that you are the best so i will be giving away the high resolution images for free you can just reach out to me on email mystique taro 28 at the rate of gmail.com i'll leave that in the description so it's easy for you to access I'm also taking personal readings now. Uh bookings are open for this month. So if you want to you can also reach out to me for that via the same email ID. Um I will never reach out to you through a WhatsApp number or or in the comment section for a reading. The email ID is literally the only way to book a reading with me. So please do not fall prey to scammers or anybody that's posing as me. And um I love you guys so much. I want to thank you. I want to thank your soul. I'm sending a lot of gratitude to your soul because your soul is just has been working so hard all the time. You have been working really hard and I'm so happy that somebody like you stumbled on this channel. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you peace and I hope whatever idea that is present inside you comes into the physical manifestation beautifully and quickly and i hope you remember by number 1 that you are always welcome here that this is a safe space and that you are not strange you're loved here you're beautiful you're unique and um, oh my gosh was it how to focus this whole time i'm so sorry by number 1 um yeah so that's it and with that said i'm going to end your reading here i'll see you again bye Hello and welcome my loves if you chose pile number 2 or love letter number 2 this is going to be your reading So yeah let's unbox it together this is what it looks like from the back in case you wanted to see i just felt like somebody wanted to see and yeah 
So. And we have all of these messages which we will be looking at together. I enjoyed making this box a lot. Like this is one of my favorite paper. It's this this kind of texture paper is really good for making these kind of envelope boxes or love letter boxes. So and I really love this color as well. I feel like I picked this up just for you. Like this had to be yours. Because when I pick out these papers when I'm, you know, in the stationery store and um, I'm purchasing all these papers and I don't know when I'm going to use them. You know, Spirit will call me to use certain kinds of papers with certain textures, certain colors that represent the pile and the energy. So I, there, there was a lot of blue today. And I feel like you could be my water pile, but you you also have like a mix of air. So Gemini, Libra. Um, I'm also I just heard Virgo, but mostly I f I'm feeling Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You're creative in some way. You could be attracted to pile number one because they had a similar energy as well. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but mostly I'm feeling Gemini and Libra. So let's start with these circular messages. So we have we have be wild and wonder, do not give up, never stop dreaming. Oh, this came out for pile number one as well. We have speak truth. In love and the clouds cannot defeat the sun now pile number two there is a dream that you have that you are almost on the verge of giving up or you might not take it seriously or people might say oh like you can't do photography like you can't be a photographer how are you going to make money and this and that and it's like just go wild with it just just go for it you know um, you don't, I'm, I'm hearing the quote, not all those who wander are lost. So if you take up something that feels like it's um, creating some kind of like, um, like a chaos almost in the sense that you might have a structured routine, you might have a job, you know, you know, you could have like, you know, like this is the time you have to wake up and you're eating this breakfast and like, it's very routine. It's very machine routine, right? It's it's repetitive and it's the same all day, every day. And here you are with this spark in your heart and you're being asked to just be wild and wonder and don't give up on that spark, on that wild side that you have within yourself that craves adventure, that craves to break out of a routine, um, that craves to shine. So go ahead, go ahead and don't give up and don't stop dreaming and listen to that wild side and give in to that wild side. Bad things are not going to happen if you um, listen to the wild side or the more unpredictable side of you. Um, I'm also hearing that the clouds cannot defeat the sun. We have this one right here, right? And I feel like this quote is really talking about you directly like you are the sun and you cannot be defeated so no matter who is raining on your parade pile number two who is trying to put you down or dim you or take credit for your work you're going to come out on top pile number two and they are not going to win so don't give up on your dream um, don't give up on your truth don't give up on what you want in your life for you because the clouds cannot defeat the sun and you're going to come out on top So let's see, we have my body, my choice, yes, I feel like with you it's my heart, my choice, like my life, my choice, you know, like every, this life is about you, of course, 
you know if you are not going to be the main character of your life who else would be the main character of your life of course you're here to be you to be who you want to be and to become who you want to be not what people are expecting right so this is like a reminder from spirit guides you can create the li- i want to place this in the center right here so that you remember this you can create actually i'll place it here you can create the life you want pile number 2 you definitely can then we have the actual word love oh my god i'm seeing another oh you have love twice pile number 2 i didn't know i you know i cut out these two separately thinking that the other piles would get like you would get one love and then the other pile would get another love but you got both of these i didn't know because i always pick these cutouts intuitively like i don't know what goes inside these boxes i just cut them out and then i intuitively pick each element for each of the box and for each of the pile depending on the energy and you got love twice i feel like i want to place that here or this one should be here like it should be on the either side of this girl silhouette then we have always take the scenic route yes not all those who wander are lost always take the scenic route we have this moment will just be another story some day if you have gone through something difficult in your life pile number 2 like there was somebody who was trying to um do something bad to you taking credit for your work like i said like there was something along the lines of that uh whatever bad moments or bad feelings you've gone through these moments will just be another story some day like don't let that get to you don't let it get to you like don't don't let the negative energy of other people make you negative because you are meant to shine like the sun pile number 2 so don't take their darkness and their negativity inside of yourself just leave them with it if they are full of negative energy then that's all they are going to give right like what do you expect from a person who is filled with dark energy right um they are not going to wish good for other people they are not going to be happy in somebody else's success so um just leave them alone pile number 2 you don't have to pay attention to it you don't have to do anything about it let them talk whatever they are talking because it's it's i don't see energetically speaking it's not affecting you your spirit guides are protecting you that's why wow just as i say that just as i mention positive negative you have think positive yeah you got a lot of these like you cut out i cut out i got so many of these out there were 12 20 i don't know and you got six of these dreams really do come true this is a confirmation from spirit and from your spirit guides that if you have a tr- oh my god oh my god i know this was there in the box not all who wander are lost pile number 2 i did not know that this was in the box oh my gosh this is so great it's okay to not be okay wow you have stay focused and visualize your desire yeah stay focused and visualize yourself and you can create the life you want it is not about not feeling sadness it's about allowing yourself to sadness to give you because no negative energy is for you. so leave let's see the rest of your messages pile number 2 you have you will never regret being kind now for some of you i'm picking up a very specific message here with this one is that there was an ex who you were very nice to you were you you know as you are you were beautiful you were kind you were compassionate you were understanding and they took advantage of your kindness they took your kindness as 
a way to exploit you they took your kindness for weakness and i'm getting that you don't have to regret that because the fact that you gave them love love is coming out twice for you so this is I, oh this is talking about you as well isn't it so you will never regret being kind i feel like you shouldn't regret being kind and your spirit guides are saying that that person was not for you firstly and uh, you were not meant to be with them so please do not regret that you know that you loved them or that you were kind to them or that you should not uh, you shouldn't have uh, been so nice to them that you know you have to change yourself because they took advantage of your kindness like you don't have to regret being kind there's something wrong with that that person for taking advantage of you and exploiting you there's nothing wrong with you pile number 2 so you don't need to change yourself when you wish upon a star a wish is coming true for you pile number live well love much la- laugh often now this is one of the frequency paintings by teal swan and um, i think this one is called excitement so i feel like in this next chapter of your life you're stepping into a new chapter and in this next chapter of your life you're going to be very excited because i feel like there is a lot of um, things happening for you like first of all we have you can create the life you want and then you have when you wish upon a star and live well love much love laugh often so i feel like you're going to have your dream life and your spirit guides are saying that you're going to have your dream life visualize your desire stay focused and you're going to have your dream life and so every day you're going to wake up and you're going to be excited for a new day you're going to be excited as dawn comes close because i feel like you might not be in love with your life right now but the future you is very much in love with life and i'm seeing that the future you is also very intuitive more intuitive than you are now and connected to spirit so that's also something that i'm seeing for you pile number 2 we have divine feminine and oh my god you have love again pile number 2 who are you who are you pile number 2 this is sarang which means love in hangul which is the south korean language now i mentioned this but for some reason spirit guides when i was making these cards um spirit guides asked me to write this not in english the rest of it all of it was in english but this one specifically was in korean language so maybe some of you are from south korea watching this um or japanese or from china philippines maybe like the east asian countries or you are full of love like it doesn't matter <laughs> you are you are full of love you are beautiful we also have divine feminine yes and lastly we have light gorgeous i did say sun and then you have excitement and you have light all of these i'm asso- like i associate all of these um things with the same color which is this color right here which is this color right here so i feel i feel that there is something in your life that is picking up energy it's picking up momentum but it's picking up like the good kind of momentum you know like things are working out for you instead of against you you know i feel like i want to place this here oh divine feminine okay this new chapter is going to hold a lot of excitement i feel like every day you wake up and it's like what is the most beautiful great thing that can happen to me today and that's what your life is going to be like every day you're just going to wake up and you're going to expect the best thing to happen and it's going to that's ex- i feel like you're manifesting this by feeling good every day and enjoying your life because once you start getting into the uh whatever energy you are currently in whatever emotion you hold currently that is what is magnified because law of attraction will pull similar vibrations to you so if you have the if you hold the energy of excitement if you hold the emotion the feeling of excitement 
that is what is going to be like you'll have more things to be excited for i feel like you are going to be much more adventurous in this new era or if you're not you're being asked to be adventurous if you're worried that you know i want to you know not be in a job because it's too boring and i want to go travel the world i want to be a vlogger just as an example there's something you want to do um and you're really worried and anxious that that thing is not going to work out and uh, i'm being told that you need to go and take just be wild and wonder you know don't give up go go dream go live the way you want to live go do what makes your soul happy what makes you excited to wake up each day and i'm feeling that for you this is going to be a fulfilling life this is a very fulfilling life like you're going to be able to truly say that i love my life and you have love thrice pile number 2 i mean that's definitely not a coincidence so there's a lot of synchronicities here and i feel like your spirit guides are watching over you personally and this is like they are like the love letters slash messages from them and whatever you're dreaming of that is what is going to come true so even though it is a huge step let's say going by the previous example that you do leave your job and you know like your parents are against you or you know like you're like okay what am i going to do now i don't have like an a source of income now um just take that step because you don't know what's going to come out of it when i started this channel i had no idea that i would even reach 3000 subscribers which is like i'm so grateful for that even hitting 500 was like a huge deal for me it still makes me a bit emotional to think about it that there's people out there that actually value my creativity because my creativity was not valued and um i'm just so grateful to have a family here that loves that and i took a chance on that dream that i had you know like this was something that i wanted to do and i ha- i had no idea what was coming for me i had no idea that i would have such supportive people i would have such beautiful people um and i'm so very happy that you guys enjoy and love what i do and you know my creativity um it reminds me every day that creativity is important that the way i do things um it's appreciated it's valued because sometimes people will look at artists and be like oh you know you're probably not making enough money and i'm making more than i even expected thanks to every single person who are booking personal readings with me and donating and purchasing any limited edition readings thanks to all of your support i'm able to create the life that i want and um I don't share personal stories by number 2 if you're new here you'll know that I don't share anything personal I avoid doing that but spirit your spirit guides called me to share my kind of like small story with you because they were like share something personal because you know you might be reading a lot of success stories and it's un- unbelievable but I am I I'm the living proof that if you are wild and wonder if you always scenic route if you go for something that your soul loves you're not going to be lost you're going to be found and that's exactly what's going to happen to you my dear pile number 2 you are not here to be lost you are here to be found and you are here to find yourself and your spirit guides are going to be with you and have been with you every step of the way and all of your wishes are going to come true and you will have the life of your dreams this is all that i'm seeing for you pile number 2 if you are interested in booking a reading with me or donating or um uh having a free image of this spread because i am giving those away for free so i will be giving away high resolution um um pictures of your spread just write in the email as the subject pile number 2 and the name of the reading and i will send you high res images so you can keep this as your wallpaper just as a reminder that you know this is all that your spirit guides gave you today love love and more love and uh, hopefully this will serve as a reminder for you that things are getting better that things 
are falling into place and that you are allowed to create the life that you want and uh, yeah hopefully you can keep this as a wallpaper or somewhere in your gallery and it makes you a little bit happy then my intention is complete like for this reading so yeah that's what i'm seeing for you pile number two i'm so happy that i have acquainted with your energy you seem such wonderful lovely souls and uh, i hope you find that you are the sun again i hope you know that you are the sun of your life and um, i will see you soon hello my love so if you chose pile number three or love letter number three this is going to be your reading and this is what your envelope looks like it has a lot of silver foiling the very first thing that your spirit guides are taking me to is the silver foiling on top of this paper now i feel like you guys might have a lot of lunar energy so cancer um, or be connected to the moon in some way because silver is associated like it's a metal associated with um, the moon and then we have gold which is associated with the sun of course but I feel like you're very moon like in the sense that you might be introverted or shy or um, quiet I'm getting that of course if the if this doesn't resonate it's okay I feel like I'm just picking up that most of you have this kind of energy so let's unbox this together taking off the seal setting it here look at how the seal here that i made has the blue circle in the middle now i had a heart here in for the future spouse reading but i made a circular cutout for this one the seal for this one for this reading so all of the piles all of the love letter boxes have like a circular seal over here and um At first I wasn't really sure if this if this would look good but it looks good now. And this this circle in particular is just reminding me of the moon like it's reminding me of those astrophotography shots of the moon if you guys have seen that where the moon looks so round and like the full moon on the night of the full moon it's so beautiful. So let's start now let's see what we have so we have all of these messages inside that we will be taking a look at one by one so we have hard working here your spirit guides are working really hard on a dream that you're trying to manifest your spirit guides are working really hard that's coming out first foremost that's coming out first and foremost Then we have innocence. Yes, I feel like that's your energy. Then we have quiet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Quiet literally came out for you. I didn't know. We have lovely. We have strong presence. All right. Then we have unique. And we have abundance abundant okay now I'm going to look at these in a second but I want to take the time to look at these first so I feel like this is like a combination of you and your spirit guides energy I just heard future spouse for some reason this is not a future spouse reading but maybe your future spouse is also like this and if you have seen those readings, my future spouse readings where I made these personality cards, um, you might have seen that um, you might have received the very same cards because I did make these myself. So I channeled words here and I wrote them and I built this myself. So I feel like you are hard working but your spirit guides are working hard to make your dream come true so that that's the very first thing i'm picking up i feel like you are innocent you are quiet like i already said but you still have a strong presence and you are unique 
and if you are not abundant right now there's going to be a lot of abundance that flows your way in the near future or your future self is going to be so abundant that you know he she they, they are not going to worry about finances like finances is one element that's going to be completely just taken care of you will never have to worry about that again and i feel like your spirit guide specifically if you are trying to manifest financial abundance in specific because i'm picking up financial abundance there's all kinds of abundance but i'm picking up financial abundance in particular and um, they are going to your spirit guides are going to support you and it's like you're getting to that goal so let's say you know you have this goal of like okay i want to have this much amount of money in my account like this is the energy like what do i need to do uh, what do what affirmations do i need to do what manifestation rituals i need to do and i see you taking steps so it's like you work very quietly also picking up a little bit of a scorpio energy right here because scorpio people are always so quiet about their goals they never you know reveal <laughs> what they're doing they're just kind of very mysterious and like to just you know not be bothered by people and um, they're very quiet and intense so you could be a scorpio but this could be the energy of your spirit guides as well like they are quiet and intense they are quietly supporting you a lot a lot uh it's almost like you might not hear from your spirit guides or if you ask a question you might feel like you don't get an answer from your spirit guides um because and then you feel like oh you know are they even there like are they talking to me what's going on i don't understand and it's because if your the way your spirit guides give you love is by um working towards helping you manifest what you want the life that you want and things that you want things that you want to achieve and um they might not speak much or they might not communicate much through words or um like songs or something like i'm not getting a verbal way of communication i'm picking up on emotions like they will make you feel a certain way like if they want you to go this way and not that way and you're going that way they will kind of nudge you to go this way but they won't explicitly say that you know you have to go this way not that way this way this way not that way they are not like that like they will kind of quietly urge you to just be like but what about that road let's take that road you know not this one and then you go here and you realize oh this feels right so this one was actually the right one for me all along i feel like this is your energy as well unique this came out in pile number 2 so maybe some of you were drawn to pile number 2 if that is the case you you know feel free to watch that one if you were not drawn to pile number 2 so please don't um i do feel that there is there is something you're here to do something that's unique you're here to do something that nobody has seen before especially if you are coming from a family line and breaking you are the breaker of intergenerational trauma like you're breaking that cycle and the relationship that you have with your children is going to be completely different from the relationship that um um your parents had with you or you had with your primary caregivers and like you're here to disrupt something but in a good way like it needs to be done and you came here to do that like i feel like this is one of your soul soul's mission that you're here to change things you're here to you know disturb the comfortable like you're here to cause a shift in some way like you're here to bring a new energy into the earth's consciousness like the collective consciousness i feel like it's going up because you exist and because of your love and your heart and your uniqueness you were designed this way if you ever if you ever you know looked at yourself in the mirror and you were like you know why am i like this like why am i so unique uh, so weird like why can't i just be normal they are bullying me they are insulting me they are doing this like they are targeting my physical appearance my skin color this that whatever and it's like I'm also being taken to Wednesday Adams who um, Jenna Ortega is playing that character in Wednesday. Oh my gosh, if you have not watched that series, please do. You know how she is so uh, treated like an outcast because she's not fake at all and she will just say things honestly and I get that why somebody like her would rub people off the wrong way, but then ultimately 
um, the people realize that okay you know she's not a fake person like whatever it is she's going to say it and she doesn't allow anybody else to have power over her and I feel like you might be quiet and you might have been underestimated in the past but you have such a strong presence that people kind of might steer clear of you or not you know get in your way they don't try to pick a fight with you or whatever even though you look so it's like you look very serene calm and quiet but inside you're as strong as a tornado you like you're you're a force to be reckoned with and your spirit guides also have a similar energy and they are asking you to embrace these qualities because this is what makes you you this is what this is who you are in a way and there's no point in relinquishing who you are for external validation because in the long term you're the one who's not going to be happy with yourself pile number three so you are full of love and you are lovely you are great i was wondering why you had so many like personality trait cards when i create that's when i created these and i was like wait a second why am i picking these up and there were so many that came out for you and it didn't make sense but now it makes sense um i usually just pick these out intuitively I don't think too much. I just, you know, ask spirit guides to guide me and then it doesn't make sense in that moment, but it makes complete sense during the reading. I feel like this is one of the most important quotes. Like, I'm just feeling the energy from this. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Pile number three, you are magic. You are straight up magic. And you have a lot of silver foiling coincidence no obviously not leave a little spark i feel like this is something that you automatically do this this might not be something that you need to work on then we have dreams soar on the wings of imagination you change your life by changing your heart oh my gosh i literally just said that right now i literally just said that and you have the very same thing come out for you. Pile number three, I did say that you are here not just to change your life, not just to, you know, by changing your heart, but you're not just here to change your life, you are changing the Earth's consciousness in some way. Like, I'm seeing the collective human consciousness being affected by your energy it's like you're very elevated you're very enlightened like you're very crystal clear with the silver that i'm picking up here silver seems to be a theme like a consistent thing that your spirit guides just keep pulling me to i have used this envelope before and i have used these cards before and nothing of the sort came out before but now I'm being taken to that silver again and again and again. So I feel like that's an important theme for you. We have miracles come when you least expect them. A wish is coming true. Although I don't know which wish it really is. We have what if I fall but oh my darling. What if you fly? Yes. Sorry about that, pile number three. Um, that tin tin, did you hear that? That was a confirmation. Again, it literally felt like there was, like, spirit was just tin tin, you know. And they were like, we are here, we are here, we are quiet, but we are here. Let's get some more messages. We have, ooh. We have lived life as if it was created just for you. Yes. And then, what do we have here? We have I am grounded. We have lovers alone wear sunlight. I don't know where I picked this from. And I don't know why this fell in your um, love letter box, pile number three. Because... When I picked this out, it didn't make sense, right? Lovers alone wear sunlight. Maybe it'll mean something to you, but I'm not getting like a concrete, logical message from this specifically. Then 
then you have the gift of love I'm going to place that here because it's so pretty then you have this is a frequency painting by teal swan and this is called nurture I'm going to place that here then what do we have we have like some more messages let's just see them we have trust the journey yes we have there is peace even in the storm wow you have i love myself great i love that you have today is a new day you have your only limit is you and you have take the risk pile number three if you are listening to this reading and thinking like oh my god like this couldn't possibly be true for me you know i um i mean you like this couldn't possibly be true for you how would you change the earth's consciousness or whatever you know like listen you are here for big things pile number three you are here for big things what if i fall but oh my darling what if you fly this is a direct message from your spirit guides what if you fly you are thinking that you're going to fall and then again you have that thing oh my gosh fly and then you have dreams soar on the wings of imagination so there's something trapped in your imagination like an idea something that you want to try something that you want to do and um it's you if you take a chance on that you're not going to fall but in instead you will learn and you will see that you can fly metaphorically speaking so if you can fly there are no limits you are limitless pile number three and you are meant to live life as if it was created just for you with the, your only limit is you i'm getting that oh my god was that out of focus this whole time i'm so sorry pile number three gosh this camera has real focusing problem i'm going to hopefully i can change it in the next months but i'm so sorry i apologize pile number three um but this is what your spread looks like focused <laughs> but i was saying that your only limit really is you i feel like the only person who underestimates you the most is you and there's people that are you know talking garbage about you but i'm not picking up their energy so much as as yours with the nurture frequency painting coming out i do feel at the same time that you need to nurture yourself you need to give love to yourself i with the i love myself and nurture is just beside that this frequency painting will help you if you want to keep this in your house it will help a lot i'm also giving away um a free high resolution images of your spread in case you want to use them as wallpaper to remember that this is a love letter from spirit that you are held that you are great that you are abundant and just to remember that life is going to get better then just reach out to me um i will send these images to you free of cost um my intention is really just so um for you to remember that your spirit guides are there that you are not alone in this and that you are literally limitless you pile number 3 specifically you are here to do something big like you're doing big things with the strong presence we have this personality trait card right in the center of your whole spread so you are here to do something big and unique do not quiet yourself do not dim yourself you know speak up when you want to speak up um i feel like you might be the kind of person who uh, doesn't speak a lot you don't indulge in gossip so much or you know small talk but you when you speak people listen you know what they say there are those people that don't speak but when they speak 
everyone shuts up in the room and listens i feel like you're that kind of a person like you command that respect you don't demand respect like you automatically just command it you don't even have to ask for it it's just that by your presence people will automatically respect you so that's what i'm feeling for you pile number three with i one final message that i'm getting from your spirit guides is that you need to take a risk you need to take a risk to live life as if it was created just for you like if life if your life was created just for you and it is by the way but if life was created just for you then what would you do how would you live what are the things that you would change in the present you know if you're the only person who's supposed to be the main character of your life what would you do differently now now that you know that now that you can feel that truth that was always present so this was your reading by number three i hope you remember that your dreams are literally going to come true and that you are not here to fall you're here to fly and that your wishes are also coming true i'm so happy that spirit sent you my way you seem such a lovely beautiful soul and i'm so happy to have you here i'm going to send a certain um gratitude and i'm sending love to your spirit guides for coming through here and channeling and allowing me to read for you i'm so honored to have you in my space and on my channel pile number three i'm sending you so much love if you want to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me on mystique tarot 28 at the rate of gmail.com um or you can or if you want uh the images of this spread then also it's the same email id and uh, if you want to buy any limited edition readings which are 18 plus exclusive watercolor readings um also the same email id i'll leave it in the description so it's easy for you to access and um, i'm sending you so much love my dear pile number three hopefully i'll see you in my next reading if not i'm um, i thank you so much for watching this one